Hello everyone and welcome to the Beauty Zone. I'm Felicia and today's tutorial will have me being off camera for the most part because we're actually going to make a wig and as you saw in the still pictures before um, I've given you a list of supplies in which to use to make a synthetic wig and the products that I'm using will be the Zuri ES1 and this is the multi-pack one pack is enough and it's called multi Length curly and her name is Egypt wave It's really really pretty wave and yes this is synthetic um, but it's supposed to have like a Remy feel to it but yes it is synthetic um, I picked this up from my local BSS and it was $19.99 now they say one pack is supposed to be enough and we're gonna see you get five pieces within this package and you get an 18 inch 16 14 and 12 I'm assuming that the 12 inch is going to be your closure and of course on um, that fifth piece well no it wouldn't be the closure so that's four pieces right so again 18 16 14 12 and then you get the fifth piece which is the closure I don't know how long the length is of the closure um, the big deal about this is again they say one pack is enough and it does come with that closure so that you can utilize your own hair and this is a color 1B. You can curl it up to 400 degrees, but I will not be curling it because I like the curl pattern. So, um, we're gonna go on and get started. Now, I showed in the still picture you saw before, I didn't show a wig cap. Um, I was showing the little tissue papers that you can you know, put on your head, but I decided to opt out for that and just go with the wig cap so I actually have a black wig cap underneath my neck cap and you don't have to use the kind of neck cap I'm using you can use your favorite neck cap and again along with pump it up spritz spray and also a bottle of hair glue and I have my hair dryer so I'm gonna go on and open up this pack and the first thing I want to do is actually take the pieces out and kind of see how much hair I have to work with since they say one pack is enough. We're going to see if one pack is enough. And I'm hoping one pack is enough because guess what? I'm not buying another pack. This is a really great weekend project for those of you who love projects. The great thing about making your own quick weave it's not that expensive and if you want to kind of have an in-between style it's a good alternative okay so here is the closure piece I'm not gonna come in close because my shot will be out of focus but this is the closure piece and let me see I do have a measuring tape here I just want to see just curious to see how long this is Okay, the closure is like 16 inches. If you pull it down, if you don't pull it down, it's about 15 and a half. So your closure piece is going to be about 15 and a half to 16 inches. But I really, really love the texture. I'll come in for a close-up later on. It's really pretty. It uh, looks like a loose wave, actually. And some of the other reviews I know I saw where people were complaining about the weft being too thick to utilize as a closure so we'll see underneath it has kind of this net material here and um, it's just a regular weft track with that mesh material underneath so we'll see how that goes the closure length looks like it's about a couple of inches let me see I should have measured this while I had the tape out let's see real quick um, looks like it's almost three inches. <clears throat> yeah, it's three inches. So you get three inches of parting room for your closure for your U shape. Okay. All right. And let's take a look at the other pieces. We'll lay that out. And again, this is a color number one. Have this package pretty good here. Okay, so everything is labeled, which is great. 18 inches is in the back, so I want to start with that because that's where 
We'll be starting, we'll be starting with the 18 inches. If you hear crunching in the background, uh, that's Tiki, she's eating. She decided she wanted to wait until I do a video to eat. So it's all good. Okay, so this is the 18 inch length or bundle. And she's really pretty. I love the um, the pattern there. I love this loose wave. Loose wave is one of my favorites to wear anyway. And the fact that it's a synthetic is great. Now I'm doing a quick weave because I like to be able to um, take my wigs off. Uh, well, the reason why I'm doing it on this mesh cap too, instead of just the wig cap, is because I want to be able to take it off at night. Because again, it is synthetic. So it's not going to hold up too long. You guys know that synthetics are nice for the first week, but then they start getting tangly and all that kind of stuff. And so that's why I don't really deal with synthetics that much. But I love taking on a project. So um, so anyway, I've done the mesh cap. So I can take it off at night, put it back on. If I use the other kind of cap, it's not going to last as long. I guess I'm going to cut this shit. But this is your 16-inch length. Okay, and we have the 14 inch length. And as you get um, closer to the 12, you don't get as much hair. So this is a 16 and this is the 14. And then let me put the 12 on top of it. And then <laughs> you don't even get a half a pack for the 12, okay? I don't, this is like, maybe it's a half a pack in their eyes, but it doesn't look like a half a pack in my eyes, but this is the 12, 14 to 16. So what that means as far as you making this wig is you really need to plan it out. So I've actually gone on and I've done my measurements. I always plan out when I'm making my wig. So I've done my measurements as far as how far, far apart I want to be with my tracks. And right now it's looking like I'm going to be a half an inch far, but that might change because... I'll have to see how much of the 18 inch I actually have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started off camera. I'm going to go on and measure and see how far I can get with this 18 inch. And then I'm going to start um, pre-cutting. Okay. So I will be right back. Stay tuned to the beauty zone. Okay. I am back. Um, I'm actually finished with the 18 inch bundle and I'm halfway through the wig. When you're working on this quick weave, it's really important that you take your time because you want to make sure that you do have enough hair and that that one pack is going to be enough. You don't want to have to go back and buy a second pack just for a couple of tracks. And speaking of tracks, people, um, <laughs> this is a 16 inch bundle here. And I just want you to see how thin the tracks are. Let me come out. These tracks, let me see. Let me see if I can focus this in. There we go. These tracks are super, super thin. And so what I found is that I was really, 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 turn this light up, really, really, really taking my time just because the tracks were so thin. And as far as your glue is concerned, you want to make sure that you use a glue that has a thinner nozzle because if you don't glue is going to be everywhere so I've had to um, just really 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 take my time because the wefts are just really really thin um, but the hair is very very pretty and again this is a synthetic so it's only going to last for so long it's supposed to have that Remy feel and it really does have that Remy feel but when you run your fingers through it, it does get a little bit tangled because again it is synthetic it's not human hair so I'm going to go on and start with the 16 inch bundle and the 16 inch bundle should take me probably to um, I would say about the crown of the head and then I will go on and do the 14 and I have 14 and is that it? No, I have 14 and a 12, right? But remember, there's not that much hair in the 12. So that's why I'm saying you really need to plan because if you space your tracks too close together, you're not going to have enough of the 18 inch and then that's really going to mess you up. You won't have enough hair for the full head. So I'm going to do a little bit of this on camera um, and then I'm going to do it in super fast motion, okay? So stay tuned.
Okay, so I am back and I have completely used a 16 inch bundle. And I'm going to take this off of the clamp so that you can see her. The hair is really, really pretty. And um, I'm almost finished. I have two more bundles left and then the closure. This is how much I have left to complete in the front. And I have my 14 inch bundle and then I have my 12 inch bundle and then I have the closure left the closures over there on the table. But um, I just wanted to show you guys um, that you can make a wig on a budget and I said I'm just going to start doing these beauty on a budget series. Um, where you can make your own wigs for you know under thirty dollars or something like that because you know you don't always have the money um, to be able to purchase the more expensive wigs you know things happen you have child care you have woo, telephone you have um, child care you have other bills like cell phone bill <laughs> and you have you know car payment and you have car insurance and you have maintenance on your car and you have mortgage you have rent you know so sometimes we want to purchase new hair but we just don't have the funds at that time so it's great that you can go to your local BSS and actually pick up you know a new hairstyle for 20 bucks and just spend a couple of hours um, creating something that's your own and you have a brand new hairstyle for the next couple of weeks so um, when I come back, I should have the 14 inch completed um, and probably even the 12 inch because there's really not too much to the 12. So stay right here. I have used not even half of the 12 inch and I am just about complete. I need to add that closure. So here she is. And again, this is um, Zuri. Correct. This is, let me check, let me check, let me check. Yes, this is Zuri. Yes, one. And she is really, really pretty. But this is what I have left to complete. And I really do believe that my closure is going to fill that gap. And I still have hair. So if, even if it doesn't fill the gap. But what I'm going to do is the closure is going to go like this. It's kind of hard for me to show you guys. Yeah, it's going to go like this. Let me turn on my other light here. That might be a little bit better. And the hair is not super, super shiny. It's these lights that I have um, that might make it look like that. But the closure will go like that. So I'm pretty sure that I won't have to fill in that gap with any more hair. But if I do, I still have my 12 inch um, left. She is really, really pretty. Again, this is a 1B. And this Egyptian wave is like a loose wave. And what I really like about this, I'm going to turn this around to the back. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. That's as far as I can zoom out. But what I really like is that if you want to wear a ponytail with this wig, you can. And it's full enough. See? And that's what you want. When you make your wigs, you want to make sure that you position your tracks where you are able to wear you know, a high ponytail or a low ponytail, and it doesn't look like a pigtail. <laughs> we want a ponytail, not a pigtail. But she is really, really pretty. So I'm going to come back. My battery is almost dead. I'm going to come back in a moment with the finished look, and that would be with the closure sewn on. Okay? Stay tuned to the Beauty Zone. Here is the finished product, guys. It is beautiful. I love this hair. Can you believe this is synthetic? And we're talking about $19.99 a pack, and you do only need one pack. So again, it is called the Yes One, and it is by Zuri. And this particular um, texture is called Egyptian Wave, and it is, again, in a 1B. But it is really like a loose wave. I am so much loving this. I did use the closure um, that came with the package unit here. And I saw some previous reviews and there were some mixed reviews about the closure. For me personally, it wasn't very hard to use. I didn't glue the closure in. I actually hand sewed it in. So I could take it out at any time and, I don't know, use it for something else or just discard it if I wanted to. But it's really good to use the closure because it gives you more fullness at the top. And again, that closure was about 15 and a half to 16 inches in length. And it just finishes the look. 
and then of course I took out some of my hair and blended it in um, just really really pretty I'm not going to wear this to sleep because it is synthetic now the good thing about synthetic is that it's synthetic and it's not so expensive um, and also when you have a texture like this with the curls it will literally stay so unlike human hair when over time maybe that uh, processed steam um, texture will drop or lose its um, you know curliness synthetic hair won't however the bad thing about synthetic is it's synthetic and it will tangle so even as I run my hands through this hair sometimes I hit a snag so of course I'm not going to sleep in it I did make a wig and this is a quick weave and I had a lot of fun doing this I just really love just taking a package of hair and turning it into something so it didn't take me that long but I was very very careful to plan out what I was going to do because again I didn't want to need another pack but speaking of another pack you know I always buy two so I do have another one here and I wanted to try another try another texture this one is a loose deep and it is in color FS1B33 so at some point I will make a wig out of this one but yes now you can curl this up to 400 degrees I did have a little hair left so I'm actually going to while I have your attention while I'm on camera because I know you guys are going to ask me about flat ironing this but I'm not going to flat iron it because if I buy something for the texture and of course I bought this for the loose wave texture I want to keep it in this texture so I don't like the flat iron and normally with synthetics once you flat iron them they never come back so I have this up to 35 maybe somebody can tell me what the equivalent is because I don't know but we're going to see so I'm just going to take a little piece of hair the 12 inch I had left and we're just going to flat iron and see what happens if it melts or whatever it doesn't matter because guess what this is just what I had left over okay so my plates look good it's a little stuck here at the bottom though see okay there we go okay she flat ironed pretty good okay so that's what she looks like straight and it has a nice sheen to it too I don't know if you guys can see that you probably can't but it has like a nice little gloss to it okay now that doesn't encourage me to flat iron the rest of this <laughs> however this uh, is a good option for you guys if you want to flat iron it but Zuri gives you a lot of different textures they have like a Spanish wave texture and they also have the straight texture too I do believe I remember seeing that one so you have a lot of choices there okay thank you so much for joining me here at the beauty zone and uh, take care and if you get a chance go to any local BSS and pick this hair up I actually purchased this from Beauty Masters and they have several locations in the ATL area so thank you Mwah. love you guys and I'll see you real real soon back here in the beauty zone take care peace